He couldn't speak before his death. Now police are trying to solve the puzzle. Officers found a man with a bad head injury Friday who later died. Reporter Megan Matthews is live at Creighton University Medical Center tonight. Megan. Jen, Marquise Walker's family said today his organs were donated. He died here in the hospital, but the circumstances surrounding his death are still unclear. Lord God. Yes. And so, yes. Father, we pray Father, healing for them, healing for their hearts. They right came now. from every direction oh, and Jesus. stood in the street Father, near 24th God, and Pratt. He was a great brother, a great father to his daughter. He loved family. And for this type of situation to happen, it's like careless. It's careless. More than 50 people, community groups, friends, and complete strangers surrounded the family of Marquise Walker. I want to thank everybody that came out, everyone. I love y'all, and we're going to make it. Police found the 30 year old lying in the street Friday night near 24th and Pratt with a severe head injury. Walker was incoherent and couldn't tell police what had happened. I'm heartbroken. Terribly. My brother was a loving, caring person. He loved everyone. Everyone. Those that didn't know him loved him. His younger brother, Jamar, doesn't know what happened Friday night either. But this death is senseless, he says. Now, Walker's four-year-old daughter will grow up without him. What did happen is careless and it's sad. This shouldn't happen to nobody that's caring and loving. I know that he wants everybody to be strong. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, we're going to make it through it. And... They're going to catch him. You know, justice will be served, and I believe that. Walker's family will wait for answers and for justice. They say all they can do now is pray Marquise is in a better place. Love you, Marquise. Love you. Love you. Now, family members did say today someone stole Marquise's car Friday night. It was found just blocks away from 24th and Pratt, and police haven't released much more surrounding his death. If you have any information, please call Crime Stoppers at 444-STOP. Reporting live in Omaha tonight, Megan Matthews, KMTV Action 3 News.